Well, today's a warm enough day. Bees are flying around. It's almost the uh, end of November here. We're almost just before Thanksgiving. And I've had issues with varroa mites even after I used the Formic Pro Formic Acid. I thought I was going to have a relaxing winter because it's the second time I used the Formic Pro Formic Acid. But for some reason it didn't work this time and I did exactly the same thing I did the first time I used it. Now these bees here are bees that I scraped out of number 12. Number 12 was at the end. I scraped out with a stick all the bees I could get out. And this is what I didn't scrape out. <clears throat> Just look at the mass of dead bees here. Now this is not normal. This is not normal summer bees dying. This is bees dying from virosis. <clears throat> and, and then look at, this is the acidic acid right here. And look, look at all the dead mites in the acidic acid that died when I used the acidic acid. There's got to be hundreds of them in this colony. And look, right there, look at, look at that area right there. There's what, seven in a square inch, maybe eight? This is crazy. So if you have a varroa mite problem, don't use formic pro formic acid. It does not work. This colony here, it's got the special queen in here. I saved this queen from being bothered by, uh, oh, Foley's Russian bees, product of Foley's Russian bees queens. They were balling this queen and she started laying. <clears throat> and I managed to save her in time and I put her in another colony. She's a great layer. So she's over a year old. She's been through two formic acid treatments, and that's another thing I got to comment. The Formic Pro Formic Acid does a great job of killing your queens and killing your honeybees. I lost 10% of my queens every time I used it and 10% of my colony strength. So just to have a colony left over after using Formic Pro is a good thing. But then when you find out you still have varroa mites and your colony's dying, that's a bad thing. So you waste your money. It's like almost $6 per treatment for each colony. And... It wasn't really worth it. It was well, absolutely, absolutely not worth it at all. See, this colony's going to make it. They may not be as big as they were a month or so ago, considering all those dead bees there and all these dead bees here that I scraped out a few days ago. And I'm expecting that 16 is going to be the same. And these colonies here are large because when I had the double stack on top of them. A lot of the bees from the upper hive went down to the lower hive. And I know I won't have time to get through all these today, but I'm going to clean these as many as I can and to downsize them if I have to, just to make it easier to move them around inside and outside. Because if you want to save a colony, you don't want them to freeze. The varroa mite knocks down the population. And what happens is there's not enough bees in the hive. And if you're not aware of that, they'll freeze to death and you won't be able to save them. So you got to keep a check on your colonies every single day. You know, I, I take this little flashlight here, and I open up my colonies every morning. And I see, are they moving around? Are they chilled? Are there enough bees in there? Do I see any bees? If I don't see any bees, emergency lights go off in my head. And I will strap that hive, and I will bring it inside and open it up and take a look see what's going on. I haven't lost the colony since... A few weeks after the formic acid. I, I've lost a few queens and had to combine colonies and I, I attribute that to the formic pro formic acid. I will never ever use it again. I'm going to continue using the salicylic acid. It kills the mites. It just takes five to six minutes per colony. It takes a lot of time but if you want to keep bees you have to do the time. There's no easy way of having bees. It's hard work. And you have to put that time and effort into it if you want to keep your colonies, okay? Thank you.